Good morning, you guys. Erin here at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome back to the channel. So we are long overdue for some recipes and a what I eat in a day with an emphasis on what the kids eat in a day because there just aren't enough kid-friendly, family-friendly meals and recipes out there. It's one thing for Dusty and I to enjoy a recipe, but if the kids like it, then you know it's extra good. So these are great recipes for not just kids, anyone of any age, we guarantee you're going to enjoy them. They're all protein and iron rich. I tend to emphasize those nutrients for kiddos. They're rich in healthy fats and they're super energizing and taste amazing. If you like videos like this, be sure to check out our meal planner and our eBooks linked below because we have all of these recipes for you guys right there in one spot. Stay tuned to the very end for a quick bonus breakfast. So this morning, Max and I are making some carrot apple juice. After a discussion last night before bed, he said he wanted to make some juice this morning. And when I said, how about carrot apple? His eyes lit up. This is actually a recipe from my three-day juice feast ebook. And it's loosely based on Gerson therapy, which is an amazing cancer therapy healing protocol. So this juice will not disappoint. It's so sweet. It will give you that golden summery glow. It's super nutritious and delicious. We're making juice, carrot apple juice. All right, we've got our carrot apple juice and a whole bunch of extra carrot apple pulp. I'm gonna save this and whip up some muffins. <laughs> Is it good? Holy moly, that's yummy. And we have leftover baked berry oats, also called birthday cake oats if you ask Max. They're that good. So I'm gonna give this to Liv and put it in bite-sized pieces. Get some for Max. He loves it with cashew butter on top. So this is our leftover carrot apple pulp from breakfast juice this morning. And I'm gonna make some pulp muffins. They're great for baby led weaning. It's a perfect way to not have any food waste left over and it's a good way to get in some extra veggies and fruits in your kiddo's diet in a finger food friendly fashion, especially because Liv can't eat a hard apple or a hard carrot. So I'm really excited. I love baked goods. Baking is one of my favorite things. It's the perfect way, kind of like a smoothie, to pack a powerful punch in a tiny package. So if you didn't just juice carrots and apples and you don't have any pulp, you can also finely grate your ingredients with a cheese grater or just a grater since we don't grate cheese. And you can also use other veggies and other fruits, especially the hard varieties, like I said, that are difficult to feed a little one. For this recipe, you will need two cups of rolled oats blended into a flour, about 10 pitted soaked medjool dates. You'll blend those into a date paste with just enough liquid to cover them so they're nice and thick. Two tablespoons of flax seeds and two tablespoons of chia seeds. You're also gonna blend those up into a nice fine meal. You'll need three quarters cup of soy milk, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a couple good cracks of pink Himalayan salt, one scoop of Sun Warrior vanilla protein, totally optional. Once you've blended your oat flour, blended your chia and flax, and blended your date paste, then from there, you just mix your dry ingredients together, mix your wet ingredients together. We're gonna use probably about one cup to one and a half cups of our pulp. You don't wanna do too much. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll mix the wet, mix the dry, then combine them. Then we're gonna bake them in the oven. Then we're gonna bake them in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. I would check though once it gets to about 25 just to make sure they don't look like they're already done. <laughs> <Yummy>. <laughs> I knew it. 
That'd be good. I was explaining to Max that we used the pulp, which was basically the fiber left over from the juicing recipe we had for breakfast. And then it dawned on me. These are some fiber packed muffins. Back in the day before I went plant-based, when I was trying to get healthier, I started eating a lot of fiber one, cereal, yogurt, baked goods, bars, and you can easily make fiber rich foods at home with plants. That's all it is, honestly. If you're eating a plant-based diet, you're getting an abundance of fiber. So this oven is different than our old oven. I would say it took just under 20 minutes. So again, checking it is key. You can always stick a toothpick into the middle and make sure it comes out clean and then you know they're good to go. and we didn't have our typical smoothie for breakfast. Max actually requested a green smoothie for snack time. So we enjoyed our muffins. We're gonna follow up with some smoothies and head out and get some sunshine. So since he wanted a green smoothie and I wanted berries, but we don't have fresh berries, we're doing a mashup. We're gonna do a frozen berry and spinach smoothie. <laughs> the great thing about this one is you don't necessarily see the green color, which can sometimes be off-putting for certain people. So it's gonna be very delicious. We're gonna put some Sun Warrior in and some Sun Warrior Super Greens to give it a little boost. And we're gonna be on with our day. We've got four frozen bananas. This is about four cups of frozen berries. We've got strawberries, raspberries, wild blueberries, and blackberries. I'm gonna do two handfuls of spinach, one scoop of Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. This is our favorite. This stuff is organic. A lot of people ask, do we give our kids our protein powder? I would never give them a full scoop for their own small portion, but because it's such a big blend and they're getting such a small amount, they're really not getting an excess of it. So a little bit doesn't hurt. It definitely adds to the flavor. It piques their appetite a lot of times. So we love it. It's super clean, super safe raw, organic, vegan protein. Greens powder, another awesome way to add a boost, especially for kiddos. I'm always working on seeding their gut microbiome with lots of greens, lots of veggies in general, and sneaking them in is the best way because then it introduces their gut to these foods and then eventually they begin to have a taste for them, a palate for them, and crave them. And just a splash. The filtered water. If you want to find out more about the fresh filtered water we use, check out last week's video. This might be more like smoothie bowl, which is fine. We all like really thick blends around here. How smoothie smooth delicious is that? Okay, so for lunchtime, we are making some pasta with chickpea noodles because they are super, super high in protein and iron. I mean, it is not even comparable to your typical wheat pasta, your white pasta. So this is nutrient dense. The kids love it. We all love it. We're making a simple red sauce to go with. This meal can be made in probably about 10 minutes. Usually I'll also pair it with sprouted Ezekiel bread. It's flourless. It contains only the best of the best sprouted grains. Again, high in protein, high in iron, if you see a trend here. That's what we're always focused on for the kiddos especially. I'll either put on some avocado or maybe some cashew butter with jam, or I'll do just simply coconut oil with a crack of pink Himalayan salt on top. So the red sauce is super simple. Pasta is my specialty, probably because it's my favorite food. I basically lived off of pasta and red sauce through college, and yes, I still eat it like crazy. I buy a red tomato puree and mix in a jar of diced tomatoes. If you have time, you can dice onion and garlic and throw them in. Otherwise, 
like I did today. I just put a little garlic and onion powder in there with some basil, oregano, a little bit of parsley, salt and pepper, mix it up, heat it up on the stove top, and put it on your noodles. Nutritional yeast. We only get this brand because it's non-fortified, so no worries there. Very high in B vitamins, very high in protein, iron. It is so good. It's the perfect topping in place of Parmesan. Or you can try our three ingredient Parmesan that is on Instagram Reels, and I think it's also on YouTube Shorts. I also soaked some big beans, as we like to call them. They are called Ayacote beans. I'll show you guys the packaging so you can check them out. They're organic and they are by far the best beans we've ever had. It's the bean that made me enjoy beans. So I soaked them 24 hours. We're rinsing them because tonight we're gonna make our plant-based tacos. If you guys aren't aware of Dan Buettner from the Blue Zones and the Blue Zones for Happiness, he recently made a funny Instagram reel where he was holding up a tiny, what looked like a capsule, and he said, this right here is the greatest longevity superfood. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, what's the food, what's the food? And it was a bean. <laughs> so we cannot stress enough how important it is to get beans into your diet. They're so high, again, in these same things that I've been telling you guys about that are so important, protein and iron, especially for little ones. So we used only one baby sign language with Max, and we've only used one with Liv so far. It's more. More? Good job. <laughs> Sometimes babies nap at the most inopportune time, but Biv definitely made up for it, even though she missed lunch. She just woke up and ate her muffin, then a whole bowl of pasta, now her smoothie. All right, you guys, the main event, the one we always look forward to, dinner time. We are making our Mexican lentil quinoa tacos. We're gonna add in some walnuts as well to add those healthy omega-3 fats. So you'll need one cup of quinoa, the tricolor or the red variety works best just because the white doesn't look quite as meaty. You'll also need one cup of green lentils, half of a red onion, three cloves of garlic, quarter cup to a half cup of walnuts, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. Yes, I am referring to the printed version of our ebook, which was crazy expensive to have done, which is why I'm super excited that we're working on our actual print book that should be available sometime next year. But if you want the print version of this recipe, you can find it in our ebook and the meal planner. So all that you're gonna do for your lentil quinoa taco meat is take your lentils and quinoa, boil them in four cups of water, and set that aside. Meanwhile, you'll saute your red onion and your garlic until that is nice and cooked through. And then we're gonna combine everything into the food processor and pulse it along with the spices and the walnuts until it resembles a good meaty texture that you are happy with. And then it's just a matter of getting all of the fixins together. So we've got our big beans that I talked about earlier that are all cooked and ready to go either in the tacos or as a side, as well as tomatoes, guacamole, cilantro, lime, sweet corn, you name it. This is gonna be so, so good. It can be difficult to find clean tortillas, but I did find these organic corn tortillas which have minimal ingredients and these are non-GMO grain-free taco shells that are made with cassava flour. So these are our hard shell option, these are our soft shell. What I like to do is to make a romaine boat, so that's always an option too. These would be the same if nobody knew my name. They won't put me in the game, I'm critically unacclaimed cause I don't need a million dollars, I just want a wife, some kids and a few less problems. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can find recipes like this one and many others in our eBooks and our eMove Rest meal planner. It's all linked below in the description and be sure to check out Sun Warrior and get 20% off with our discount code. Since yesterday was kind of a short sweet breakfast, this is your bonus today. We've got chocolate cherry oats. This is one of the kids' favorites. Two cups of the rolled oats, one cup of soy milk with three cups of water, scoop of the chocolate Sun Warrior Warrior Blend. 
I added in a third cup of amaranth flakes, which gives it an added 18% iron, as well as some calcium in there, and then half a bag of dark sweet organic cherries. Then, this is another great source of iron. This cashew butter it makes it so creamy and rich. Sometimes for Max, I'll add a small amount of maple syrup on top. I'm also making a kid's smoothie. This one contains some mixed berries. We've got wild blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, one and a half bananas, soy milk, hemp seeds, dulse, a Brazil nut, and I'm gonna add some daily green boost barley grass juice powder. Another good mineral rich source of micro and phytonutrients. I usually wait to give fruit as a dessert, otherwise they fill up on only the fruit. So we've got a nectarine, I even peeled the skins, and I'm gonna give them their smoothie as well. Try this smoothie blend, it's so, so good. Give your fruit for dessert and start with something that's super protein and iron rich with healthy fats included. Also with any smoothie that doesn't get drank or with extra in the cup, I fill up these little freezer um, popsicle smoothie pouches and they're great for taking on the go to the beach, hot summer days by the pool. The kids eat them up. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 